Imagine a symphony playing everywhere, all the time, even in the quietest corners of space. This isn't science fiction. It's the hum of zero-point energy, a concept as mind-bending as it is potentially revolutionary. Zero-point energy, or ZPE, is the lowest possible energy a quantum mechanical system can have, the energy that remains even when everything else is removed. The idea of ZPE arises from quantum mechanics, which governs the microscopic world. Unlike classical physics, where objects can come to a complete standstill, quantum mechanics dictates that there is always a minimal amount of energy present, even in a vacuum. This vacuum energy is not empty space. It's a sea of fluctuating energy fields, constantly popping in and out of existence. This constant dance of energy is not just a theoretical curiosity. It has measurable effects, such as the Casimir effect, where two uncharged, perfectly smooth plates placed close together in a vacuum experience a force pushing them together. This force arises from the difference in the vacuum energy between the plates and the surrounding space, providing tangible evidence of ZPE's existence. Understanding ZPE could be key to unlocking some of the universe's deepest mysteries, from the energy source of the Big Bang to the possibility of a universe teeming with hidden dimensions. It's a concept that challenges our fundamental understanding of energy and the very fabric of reality. The quest to understand the nature of nothingness has captivated scientists for centuries. In the 19th century, physicists believed in the luminiferous ether, a hypothetical medium through which light waves were supposed to travel. The failure to detect this ether led to the development of Einstein's theory of special relativity. However, the concept of a vacuum filled with energy persisted. In the 1920s, quantum mechanics emerged, and with it came the revolutionary idea of quantum fluctuations. These fluctuations, tiny bursts of energy in otherwise empty space, were a direct consequence of Heisenberg's uncertainty principle, which states that you cannot simultaneously know both the position and momentum of a particle with perfect accuracy. One of the first physicists to explore the implications of quantum fluctuations for the vacuum was Paul Dirac. He proposed that the vacuum could be viewed as a sea of virtual particle-antiparticle pairs constantly being created and destroyed. These virtual particles borrow energy from the vacuum for their fleeting existence, only to annihilate each other an instant later, returning the energy to the void. Imagine a still pond. Now imagine that pond teeming with tiny, invisible fish constantly jumping out of the water and diving back in. That's a simplified way to picture quantum fluctuations. These fluctuations are not just theoretical, they have real, measurable effects. One such effect is the Lamb shift, a tiny difference in energy levels between two states of the hydrogen atom. This shift, predicted by quantum electrodynamics, arises from the interaction of the atom's electron with the fluctuating electromagnetic field of the vacuum. While minuscule, the Lamb shift has been experimentally verified to high precision, providing further evidence for the reality of ZPE. Another manifestation of ZPE is the Casimir effect, mentioned earlier. The force between the plates arises because the presence of the plates restricts the wavelengths of the virtual particles that can exist between them. This creates a difference in the vacuum energy density inside and outside the plates, resulting in a net force pushing them together. These effects, though small, demonstrate that the vacuum is not truly empty. It's a dynamic entity, a sea of fluctuating energy with the potential to influence the behavior of matter on a fundamental level. 